just got our uh, dinner at Blackie's Hot Dogs. That was a really good spot for hot dogs. Um, the hamburger was good too, yeah. And this is in uh, Waterbury, Connecticut. So now we're headed to Holy Land, USA, abandoned ruins of Holy Land, USA. Um, I want to just uh, do a little tour of the grounds there and then talk about the uh, murder that happened there. Uh, I guess it was what, 13 years ago now. So hopefully we'll be able to get in. I'm not sure like what hours you're allowed to be there, but we'll see when we get there, I guess. All right, we're here at the Holy Land. I don't think we're gonna walk all the way up there to that cross. This was a roadside attraction back in the 60s. And it became uh, abandoned like sometime in the 80s. And there's a lot of interesting things about this place. Most notably, there was a horrific murder that occurred here about 13 years ago, in 2010. There's been talk about them uh, restoring this place and bringing it back. But uh, who knows if that'll ever come to fruition. area is kind of sketch though so this is a little bit uh, scary to do <laughs> You got a really cool view up here at Waterbury. I'm pretty sure that this place was just recently uh, vandalized by a bunch of teens. There's a lot of uh, graffiti and stuff on a lot of the uh, old buildings and everything. Man, it's quite a hike up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I want to go all the way up there. <laughs> Oh, this place is something else though, right? This is really like... It's really scary. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. Man, how'd that wear me out so bad? I think it's because we just ate. Alright. I guess I'll walk up here. Made it this far. Alright, so. Here's the story of what happened here. One night in 2010, this 19 year old kid named Francisco Cruz invited his friend Chloe Ottman here 
she was 16 at the time so they came up here to this spot right here where I'm standing and this is under the giant cross you can see this thing from really far away here in Waterbury so basically uh, he brought Chloe Ottman here confessed his feelings about her she refused his advances and that and that uh, angered him so he assaulted her and uh, knocked her out basically and uh, while she was unconscious he began choking her sometime in between the time of him choking her and her becoming unconscious he decided to uh, rape her and after he raped her he he was afraid that she would turn him in so he murdered her pretty much right here well after afterwards he went and dumped her body somewhere over here in uh, these woods here and uh, she was reported missing the next day by her parents and few days after that he turned himself in admitted to the murders explained everything that happened they had the trial he was facing the death penalty but the family didn't want to go through with the whole trial because it would have been you know several years to get the entire trial uh, over with so he they had a plea deal that he agreed to where he would get 55 years which obviously a lot of people are gonna say that's not enough time because of how grisly and ruthless the murder was he should have gotten at least life in prison now, I do know an interesting little tidbit of information here. I'm gonna look for it. I'll let you know if I see it. Well, let's see here. There it is. That. Adam lands his parents just a really crazy and to think that someone was raped and murdered a 16 year old girl raped and murdered right here in this spot is crazy now normally I wouldn't uh, cover a subject like this um, we are interested in true crime and things like that but I wouldn't normally make content like this for the channel, but I feel like this is relevant because it's it occurred here at this abandoned roadside attraction. I find it very interesting that uh, this place isn't really completely closed off. It's not posted or anything like that. You're allowed to come here from uh, dawn till dusk, so you can come here. And there is, like I said, there's talks about restoring this place and uh, reopening it to the public as a roadside attraction. So if it wasn't for that fact, if this wasn't a, a abandoned roadside attraction, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be covering such a story. But if you're going to come here and you're going to make a video about this place, it's a very relevant part of this place's history and uh, the fact that it only happened 13 years ago is kind of crazy. Look at the view from up here though. This is really cool. But yeah, this place has a very eerie energy about it, right? This place has a very eerie energy. Like, you can feel like something bad occurred here, right? Yeah. 
Well, we don't want to hang around too long because, I mean, as you can see, this place is very uh, abandoned and very... A lot of the theme park, though. Like, there's not a lot of stuff. Well, the main part was that town. That's it? Yeah, that was the main part of it. And that giant cross was like the big thing, you know? It's just small. It's small, yeah. All right, we'll walk back down and we'll uh, show a little bit more of that town with the buildings. And then we gotta get out of here because, <laughs> I mean, it's sunset now and it said uh, sunrise to sunset, so. They have a lot of work to do if they want to reopen this place. Okay, here's the town. I don't think you can walk up that far. I was gonna walk up there, but. There's some stuff over here. You can walk up there, but. I'm not going to do it because it's very overgrown. I don't want to get ticks. Alright, that's pretty much as much as I can show you without having to walk up there. And I really don't want to get ticks on me and stuff. It's really overgrown. I, I've seen videos where people were here before and I don't think it was that overgrown so I don't think they're keeping up with it as much as they used to be and uh, if that is the case then I kind of dispel some of the rumors that uh, they're going to be trying to bring this back because it just looks like the property's becoming in worse and worse condition as time goes on so Here's the archways entrance. I guess the ticket booth was over there at some point in this building. <laughs> 